Welcome, everybody. We have a very exciting guest today, Justin Awad from the great Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, whatever you So you have it all over. He has a brilliant, brilliant show where he goes into Times Square, asks very basic questions, and people give ridiculous answers. And his only response to everything, no matter what they say, is yes. yes. So, Justin, welcome to the show. Um, so, first off, I only heard about your channel last year. And I think it was Tim, our, our CEO here, might have shared it with me. And he was just like, listen, you got to watch this. And I watched it. I was like, is this for real? So, so first off, I've heard, how old are you? I'm 21. I turned 21 like two months ago. 21. Jeez, OP. Look at how young you are. But somebody said to me, you're in med school. Are you in med school? That's a little young for med school, I think. Pre-med. I'm a senior uh, pre-med student. Yeah. Do you, will you chair where you go to school or no, you want to keep that private? I go to Seton Hall University. In, oh, in Seton Jersey. Hall. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, you know? Yeah, of course. I mean, sports, basketball was big back in the day, and I don't know yeah, if, yeah. if it still has been lately. But uh, so, when did you start? How did it all get rolled? I mean, yeah, did you just, just from the I, beginning? Yeah, this is here from me, and I know you get asked that question a thousand times, and I'll get into different questions. But of course, everybody's going to know how the heck did you start doing this? Yeah, yeah. So uh, it all started. Uh, it was like towards the end of like the whole lockdown COVID stuff. It was like January 2021, I believe. So like things were like slowing down and whatever. And my buddies came back home from college. It was our freshman year and stuff. So we were like, oh, let's go hang out, whatever. We went to a mall nearby and obviously all masked up and everything. And one of my buddies in the group, he's just like a little bit less intelligent than the rest of us. <laughs> so we like to like poke at him a little bit here and there and stuff. And so I asked him a question or uh, I was, I don't remember the exact question. I can't, I can't remember for the life of me, but it was something like, what was like the DC in Washington DC? And he had no idea. And I was like, you should know that. Like that's common sense. And he was like, no, nobody knows that. And I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> nobody knows that. So like we we're having a back and forth. And then I was like, oh yeah, all right, let's go ask people then. So we were just walking around the mall and I was like, hey people. And I was like, holy crap, they don't know. He was right. And I was wrong. People don't know what that means. So then I decided to like, and at that time we were all trying to like, blow up on TikTok, like whatever, like it was like stupid doing like stupid stuff, whatever. And I was like, oh, like I'll make a video out of this. I'll make a TikTok out of this. And so I did it and the video got like 200K views or 100K views. And I was like, wait a second. <laughs> and then, yeah, that's how, it, that's how it all started. You know, so when we first started our channel, I used to joke and say, I wanted to go to like, you, you remember uh, Jay, Jay Leno had jaywalking. Do you remember this? At, do you know this at all? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's it. way too, yeah. People yeah, told me so, about it, yeah. But his is like, you know, just make it you, you know, I mean, people probably believe like, oh, damn, I got that right. People are like, oh, I was right. And you're like, you know, how many <laughs> hours a day? 77. Yes. And they're like, oh, I got it right. Sweet. <laughs> um, so have you been you've been able to monetize this somehow, right? Like, yeah, how yeah. do you monetize this channel? I mean, how are you? I mean, you're 21. Your expenses are low, which is awesome. But, you know, when I was 21 years old, I remember wanting to do a hot dog stand on my campus. I didn't party and drink. And yeah. I want to do a hot dog stand going, listen, let me make some money off this hot dog stand. But I never got to it because one guy owned all the permits for our campus. But anyhow, so yeah. how have you been able to monetize this? Yeah, so I would say the biggest monetizer or the biggest income for me is just the sponsorships, like by far big time, like the the biggest sponsor that I've gotten. Well, I, I think we'll get into that. I'm sure you'll ask me about it. But yeah, it's a lot of sponsorships. TikTok, they just came out with the new like creator beta, whatever program with videos longer than a minute that plays really well. Uh, Facebook page really well. And YouTube, I only have like 61,000 subs. So it's not like really to those levels yet but mostly those are the like in like the income revenues of income something like that all right so i'm pretty good with my money but when i was 21 i was pretty bad with my money are you good with your like do you spend it do you enjoy it do you save it like what do you do with your money when you when you bring it in every single month yeah so that's where i'm a little controversial with my friends that are business majors. I saw the Lambo. I saw a Lambo yeah. in one of your videos, <laughs> which is awesome. Yeah. yeah, I did get a Lambo. <laughs> but the thing is, like, uh, I feel like I'm in like, I've been blessed, like, tremendously by God. Uh, I'm in a situation like, like my dad does very well. And like, I've been doing things before TikTok, like I wasn't he gave me money to invest in stocks and crypto. So I like did all that stuff. And I still have like, other money now. Like, it's not like I had like the 300k and i was like you know what i'm just gonna buy this land bone cash like i i do i talk to people like i'm not that dumb money wise and i don't think my dad is either so i did get a lambo other people are like oh you should have gone like a put it in a 401k or you should have done this or done that but 
like it's kind of like imagine like when you're like 45 and you're like yeah i bought a lamb at like 21. <laughs> yeah. no and listen i you know it's it's always back and forth you know i think to myself like okay if i was 21 making you know whatever you're making i don't know what you're making but i would have probably saved a lot but i probably would have spent stupidly a lot and you know when you're young it's like fun to do it and you know i like i'm glad you said because i came from a few bucks to both my parents were physicians they did very well yeah. but it's always a hard thing because you know, people get jealous and upset about that. Like, why are you doing that? All this stuff. But at the same point, it's like, listen, at the end of the day, you can go broke whether you start with money or don't start with money. Yeah. And I I'm glad you're, so what'd your dad say when you, uh, when you bought the Lambo? Was he like, you idiot? Or was he kind of like, <laughs> yeah, have fun? No, well, I, he just known since I was a kid, like it was always a dream. Like I just wanted a Lambo. That's all I wanted. I wanted to rent <laughs> the Lambo. <laughs> so he knew the whole time and he was like very supportive the, like the entire time. And, oh, like, that's great. We had like, like a lot of like talks where it's okay, save your 401k and invest in this and invest in this. And in three years or in five years, it can become this, this, okay. Who's to say that you're going to be here in three years or five years, or who's to say like, we're going to still like me and my dad are going to get to go drive in the land. Like, I feel like time is way more valuable than money. And so there's a fine line between like enjoying it all and then being like a workaholic and saving it very, all. very insightful from a 21 year old kid. I so gotta say like, that. Like, who like okay what if i have like 200k in my bank account but i'm like i don't know like living in a shack and like barely eating and i don't want to go out like where's the enjoyment like we have money to enjoy the money you know like you can make 10 billion dollars when you're 70 years old but how much are you gonna be able to live it up you know and enjoy it so it's like there's a fine line between being responsible and being uh like enjoying it and i think i'm I'm trying to find a very good balance between that, which a lot of people, other people looking in think that I'm too far to the enjoyment, but to each their own, right? Yeah, and to me, you know, I'm very active on Twitter, and the thing I hate the most is, you know, I, there's all these people on Twitter who'll say things like, I, I literally saw a post the other day that said, if you see somebody driving an 04 Corolla and the guy next to him has a brand new BMW, the guy in the 04 Corolla is richer than the guy in BMW. They literally said that. I was like, this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. You know, Justin, I know hundreds of millionaires. Mm -hmm. Not a single one drives an 04 Corolla. Yeah. Only one drives a car older than 10 years, and I make fun of him for how cheap he is. And I look at it going, like, you know, like you said, it's that's a great comment to everybody who's, because there's a lot of young people watching our channel. Balance. You got to sit there and enjoy life, but also, you know, and I'm, and I'm you know, I'm, I'm quite sure from the hearing of you talk, if you went, if you, if you all of a sudden you had financial hardships tomorrow, you're probably selling your Lambo pretty quick to say, listen, I, I bought a Lambo. It didn't work out. I got to sell it to live. Okay, great. Yeah, it's no just about, yeah, whatever. It's like, so do you drive the Lambo to class? Like, what are you doing with your Lambo <laughs> on a day-to-day -day basis? Uh, yeah. I mean, right now the Lambo is the only car in the garage because I don't want any, my little sister parking next to me, <laughs> but I still, sense. I still have my car from high school though. And that's the one that I drive to school and like commute because, uh, scene halls in, uh, South Orange. So it's like, it's like little inner city kind of thing and like a lot of potholes ah. and stuff and like and i live i think it's like 32 miles from campus so it's like 64 miles oh, wow. there and back like basically i go to campus like three four days a week so it's like a lot it's like almost unreasonable so it's more of like all right i come home and like i'll study a little do a little work and be like all right like i'll go for a drive at night or mostly on the weekends like you know after church go for a nice little drive stuff like that it's like an enjoyment car so do you live with your parents still or do you have your own house no i live with my parents Look at this. I love it. I love it. He's making all this money, lives with his parents and drives a Lambo. And he probably tells his dad, don't even put a scratch on that effing car. I will end you if you touch that car. So does your dad ever want to drive it? Does your mom ever want to drive it? That's the funniest thing because the, we literally had it like not an issue, but something happened like three days ago, like so recently. My mom does not want to touch it. She rode in it once and she was like, I'm done. Like it's, I feel like I'm sitting on the ground. Like I like my high cars. I'm not sitting in it. My dad loves it, but he doesn't like driving it either. He likes sitting in the passenger seat. And uh, so like a couple days ago, it was Saturday. Today's Wednesday. So like four days ago, maybe. Uh, I'm sitting in my room and the garage is like under me. And all I hear is like shaking. So I was like, I think I know what that sound is. So then I call my dad. I'm like, what are you doing? And then all I know, next thing is him and my little sister are driving off and I see them out of my window. I'm like, is this a joke? Whatever. And then so they're, when they were pulling back into the garage and he was backing in, he scratched, <laughs> he hit the garage. No, <laughs> he no. With the, <laughs> when he was backing in, hit the mirror on the side, whatever. But uh, like, whatever, we went and we looked at it. He was like, I'm so sorry. I was like, don't be sorry. Like, it's fine. It's no big deal. That's, that's awesome. So that's awesome that you guys are cool laid back like that. We were like laughing and it's whatever, but it was funny.
So, Justin, you have a little uh, Middle Eastern look and name to you. Where are you from? Egypt. Are you? Yeah. That's what Mo. Mo's from Egypt. I didn't know. I didn't realize. Okay. So I was born in Iraq. So I'm a Middle Easterner as well. Okay. Um, are you, are you, is your dad a doctor or is he a business person? No, he's a business person all day. Business. Oh, yeah, interesting. Yeah. He literally was like what you do. Really. Convenience stores, 7-Elevens, things like that. Uh, he, he's a jeweler. I'm kidding. Oh, that was a joke. Uh, I was like, I don't know. That was a joke. <laughs> that was, that was, <laughs> no, he's a jeweler. That's great. Yeah, in the city. Yeah. That is awesome. I love that your dad, cause my dad, he's, he's very, my dad, uh, you know, I always joke with my father, no matter what, how much money he makes, he spends the same amount of money every year. He saves a ton. And I know he looks at my cars and goes, you idiot. Like, I know in the back of his head, he's like, you moron. What do you drive? But ironically, well, I've got a fleet. We have a joke, but uh, I, I love it. Tim's looking going. <laughs> so we have a uh, Continental GT convertible. We have a Bentayga oh, SUV awesome. and we have the we have a Taycan. So we, um, yeah, we love those cars. We have a great time with them. And uh I love them. They're great. But at the same, but the thing is also, you know what I found for me, I would try to like, okay, maybe I shouldn't buy this car, but then I'd find myself buying another car and then going, no, nope, no, nope, I want this other car. I'd sell it and lose 20 grand on it. It's like, if I just bought the original car I wanted, yeah. I would have saved a lot more money. So, but the great news is I don't look at any car and think I need that. Like, that's the hard part about when you get money, especially young, you're always wanting something. Right. And that I don't have that now. Like I look at the cars going, we have the sweet cars. And, but anyways, my dad just looks at me going, what do you waste this money on? And I'm just like, I, I like it. And, uh, so anyhow, um, so what's your, like, do you want to pursue medicine really? Or are you, are you yeah. going to try to build this into something like, what's your plan short-term, long-term for your channel? Because yeah. I mean, obviously at some point, by the way, we're doing a collab with you in New York city. We're gonna go into Times Square and ask some financial questions with you in the next few months. But like, what's your plan for the for your for your social media and your whole entire thing? Yeah, that's that's a great question. I'm kind of taking it like step by step. But like, if I zoom out a little bit in long term, like I don't think like I'm very open to the idea of switching out of medicine or getting out of it and pursuing social media full time. It's just too volatile and too scary, and yes. I don't want to have to keep like pushing the limits and even maybe even pushing like moral boundaries and stuff like I don't want to have to do that. So the medicine and being a doctor, that's like number one school is number one. And then the social media is right after it. That's the way I see it. And in the long run, I would love to like incorporate both of them. Like, I think I'm, of course. I think I'm a little fun, could be funny, like make like stuff like that, like little jokes with medicine. I don't know, stuff like that, like in the future, I definitely want to pursue that because I see a lot of doctors online now. And some of them are like, I hate to say it, but like, they're just weird. Like, they're just weirdos. Like, you're just not like, good at <laughs> you're not being good at. Like, you're not good at looking at a camera and talking to a camera. And I think I'm pretty good at it. But I don't know. That's for the future. So right now I'm studying for like my MCAT. I want to take that like within the next couple months. So it's like I'm in a maintenance phase for like my pages. Like, I'm not trying to pump out content and blow it up and stuff. I just want to like just stay like active and just kind of stay like in the background, like chilling until I'm done with this piece of garbage and then hopefully apply to school that, yeah. like, like switch up the content and push it a little more and then yeah in the long run find a way to incorporate it i think like in the near future like after hopefully god willing get into like med school i'll be like oh i like ask uh like quiz a med student and like i'll just have a book and like give it to them and say quiz me on anything and, like it's funny like they asked me i was like i don't know i don't know <laughs> just that's great like that. but that's that's the way i see it but one step at a time so uh, what medicine, do you have an idea of what, my father's an oncologist, my mother's a psychiatrist. Okay, nice. uh, do you have an idea of what kind of medicine you want to pursue? Or are you kind of like, listen, I'm in, uh, I'm completely open right now. I have no idea. Yeah, no, I'm definitely open. I just know the things I don't want to do. Like, I hate the eyes. I, like, they make my eyes tear up. Like, I don't want to be an optometrist. <laughs> okay. I can't do that. And I don't like feet either. Like, get your nasty feet away from me. <laughs> so eyes and feet, I don't mess with. But I, there's a lot of other things I like like internal medicine, just like a family doctor. I think that's awesome. Oh, yeah. Or even something like uh, like an orthopedic surgeon, like stuff like that's very interesting to me too, but we'll see. Good. I, I personally believe I have beautiful feet and I always show them <laughs> to my fiance and she thinks she hates feet. And I literally think I have beautiful, beautiful feet. I said, these are the feet of a guy who's never had to do any hard labor or wear a work boot in his entire life. And I'm very proud of that completely. So how often, so let me get into the, when you go on the street, yeah. I mean, then some of the questions you ask, like literally I slap my head going, how do they not know? So 
how do you find people? Do you seek people out or do people already, or you, cause I've seen some videos where people go, oh, I was hoping to see you here. Like they're like, oh, I wanted to. So how yeah. do you seek people out? Do they come to you? What happened? What's your process when you do that? Yeah. I mean, in the beginning, obviously nobody seeked me out. Nobody knows me and stuff. So it was a lot of like trial and error. And I think there's still like no guaranteed like formula to find somebody that's going to give you good answers, you know? So, but over time I've become more and more seasoned in this field to say the least, <laughs> where it's like, you can kind of like look at people and be like, yeah, like he'll probably give me some good answers or he probably won't like stuff <laughs> like that. Like, I, I hate to say it, but it's, it's the truth. Like it, you can, you get a little feeling and stuff like that. Even my cameraman's getting good at it. And he's like, oh, Justin, like, go ask that guy. And I was like, oh, I didn't even see him. And go ask him. And it's like the most viral video. It's like, it's stuff like that. It's like, I just learned kind of the people to stay away from and the kind of people to like have fun with. Like, usually you don't want to ask people like on a date, like if they're like old, like parents, like you just don't want to ask them. They're going to say no. And like other people, I don't know. It's just like, I kind of get a feel for it, but it doesn't. Like, I don't know if it's sad or good for me or funny, but it doesn't take that long to get the videos. It really doesn't. Like, I can film for less than an hour and have, like, weeks of content. Maybe, like, two weeks of content. That's great. It's, it's not that hard. Because I think also, like, I do a good, like, I have kind of a good system. I just write a list of questions, like, before I go in. And every person, I ask every question. So... Sometimes people are really good at math, but like they don't even know what country we're in. And some people in the country, were yeah. in, but they can't do three times three times three. <laughs> so then in the videos, you'll see them getting like this question wrong. They don't even know where we are. And then in the next clip, you'll see somebody who can't do basic math. So it gives that like vibe that nobody knows anything. Whereas like sometimes these people know a lot of other things, like other subjects and are bad at this, but there are also people that get everything wrong. <laughs> so uh, how many questions do you ask every, like, do you try to go with 10 questions? What do you do? How many questions uh, do you do? It, it varies like a lot. It's kind of just like whatever. I usually put like a Instagram, like uh, one of those things where you can like type to me uh, on my story. Oh yeah. Like, I ask, like good, qu good point. That's a good I idea. Do, like oh, like uh, what are new question ideas? And so like, I just read through like thousands and thousands of them, like just scrolling and scrolling of new questions. And like, I filter out ones that I'm like, yeah, this is this is going to be hilarious or like this is not going to be so good, whatever. And then there are some questions that like I come up with, like just like driving to school, just be like, oh, like that's like something funny that I could ask, like stuff like that. And a lot of like people, a lot of my friends, because obviously they know like I make these videos, they're like, oh, like text me, like, oh, do this question or ask this question and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's, it varies the amount of questions. Has anybody ever gotten all the questions right. I mean, I'm sure it yeah. happens. Like, does somebody just go, oh, and you go, oh my God, I did not think that was going to happen. They literally just ran like all the questions like, yeah, I got it right. Uh, yes, it, it definitely has happened, but way like probably one tenth out of the time when people get all the questions wrong, like way more people get them all wrong than get them all right. <laughs> Tim, what were you going to ask? Do you, so yeah, in all your times of... So like the South America, North America one was yeah. hilarious. Uh, What's well, like the country above us and below us? South America, North America. Like, do you have an all-time favorite? Like, I can't believe this just happened. And I know you've interviewed a lot of people, but something has to stick out in your mind of some situation where you're like, what just happened? Yeah, uh, I think the one that like makes me like, I'm really like, laughing just thinking about it. I asked what country the Great Wall of China is in. <laughs> do you know what country the Great Wall of China is in? Country? Yeah. If you had to guess. Japanese. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> that was recent. Was that was so recent. Funny. It was so funny. And then the girl, she said like Japanese or like something like so, like so like close, but like so far. Like I she got like Asia, but the like Great Wall not, of not China. Even Japan. She said Japanese. I was just like, this is hilarious. And then also I like the one. Um, oh. I asked uh, where Joe Biden was originally from, and the guy said Afghanistan. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what country Joe Biden is originally from? <laughs> no. Guess a country. Give me your best guess. Afghanistan. Yes. <laughs> I was like, where did you even get that? And he was being serious? He was like, I'm going to say, yeah. He's like, yeah, okay. So how many people do you think recognize you and try to say stupid things in order to get on the video maybe? Or you can probably tell, like, can you tell that? I mean, well, what's the deal? Like, do you try to find people who don't know who you are? Like, what's your, yeah. what's your plan of attack there? 
Well, usually a lot of people don't know who I am. Like, obviously, as time goes on, like more and more people are like, oh, like, like I know you and like whatever. We take a little picture. But usually they don't want to really be in the videos most of the time. There has been like two or three times when they were like, oh, ask me the questions. And so I asked them the questions. I was like, well, you studied beforehand. Like you, were, you saw the questions. So it's whatever. But it's I've never had that case where people like fake the wrong answers. There have been like trolls, like high school kids were like, they realize they don't know that and their friends are watching. So they have to like, you know, like try to be funny and say something like too crazy. But like, I don't really post those. I don't think they're like that funny. Does it, now, has anybody gotten upset with you afterwards saying like, you know, don't post? I mean, I was just to get their approval yeah. to post it. But I, I mean, has it gotten has it ever gotten uncomfortable where somebody gets really upset because they they say like you're making me feel stupid or something like that? It's only happened like twice where it was like kind of like bad situations but like not really i've gotten a lot of people where it's like it's okay to post and they like send me messages like like oh like can you take the videos down and usually i just take them down right away because it's like i have so many videos and i don't want you to feel like upset like we're all yeah. here to have fun you know like laugh with each other laugh at each other like life like just li laying up life a little bit stuff everyone needs to like relax stop getting offended and stuff but whatever uh the first time it happened it was with like a I was in Central Park and it was like, a, like literally it looked like the sweetest old lady like walking her dog and like I asked her like questions and like she got like half of them wrong like it's not even like she knew them and she was like like do you know who I am like you think I'm stupid because I'm old and just like yapping yapping she was like get out of here before I call the cops or something I was like call the cops for what like I asked you if I could ask you questions and she said yeah like I'm sorry <laughs> So that was like, that was, I was just like, all right, whatever. And then just left and asked more people. And then another one that I posted on my page was like a guy who was, it was so funny. It looked like he was wearing like a full like swimsuit thing, like in New York and it was night out and he was wearing glasses. It was just so funny. I posted on my Instagram and TikTok. Uh, it was just not good. He was like, I forgot what he said, but it was, you can go look at it. It was just not great. You know, it, it's awesome because it sounds like you really have a good outlook on life. And I like the idea of pre-med and you're like, listen, that comes first and all that stuff. And of course, you know, Middle Eastern, that's the way it always is, education first mm -hmm. and everything like that. So basically, like, have you had, besides yeah. asking questions, are there, are there, are there spit out, are things, interactions with people on the street that you've, that you've sat there and said, I really want to do this, but I haven't pulled the trigger yet on it because of time, money, whatever. Not money, probably, but time. Never been asked that, but I don't really think so. Like the way I look at it right now is like, I don't want to be doing like street interviews forever. Like I don't want to be like 30 and just be asking people like how many states there are. <laughs> so eventually like yeah. hopefully near in the near future, start like adding in, like mixing in like other types of content. Like I think the idea of like, like little like minutes, like minute, 10 seconds, like just like highlights of my day. Like I think those are so funny because like my friends are hilarious and like we just have a lot of fun and like we do interesting stuff like, I can show like our anatomy lab and like stuff like that. It's like cool, but um, that's what I want to incorporate it. But the way I see it right now is like, if it's not broken, don't fix it kind of like, and if the videos are still mm -hmm. getting a lot of views and I'm still getting a lot of sponsors and I'm still like, like I'm trying to just milk the cow as long as possible. Why would I try to cut it short, you know? But I, in like talking about Absolutely. industry wise, like with other people, like I don't really think, cause it's just such like, such like a touchy topic. Like people are like, People are mean. <laughs> They're just mean in the streets, you know, like it's hard to I don't know how those people do like those crazy pranks and do stuff like that. I don't know how they do it. It's like hard, like getting people to say yes to even like be on camera and ask them easy questions. But besides that, I think that that's what I'm sticking to for now. Yeah, and we do that for ours, but we don't do it like you do, which is answer yes to every single thing. So let's get to the sponsorships. Like, who who reaches out to you to sponsor? I mean, what's the biggest sponsor you've had? Like you said earlier, you know, what, what are what are people doing? What are companies reaching out to you for? And how do you promote the sponsor? Because I don't think I've ever seen a video where you said anything like, "Hey, this is brought to you by a sponsor," or anything like this. So I probably missed something. Yeah, uh, most of the time it's they want me to ask questions like about their brand or whatever they're trying. to sell so for example i did one like last summer it was for feeding america and it was the questions were like oh um like how many people do you think go hungry every day in america or like how many people do you think like uh what was the other question like don't have three meals a day like so it was like questions based around that and then at the end i was like i didn't say yes i was like no like you're actually wrong it's actually this number which was way higher than what they said and i was like if you want to help you can do this 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 and this uh yeah another oh, example great. of something that i did or something that i'm gonna do like this upcoming weekend it's a swedish like ice cream brand so i'm gonna ask them like can you show me where sweden is on a map and like 
ask questions centered around Sweden because it's like Swedish ice cream and that'll be like, oh, go try this or whatever. Like stuff like that where it's almost always like intertwined with my content kind of thing where it's like they want me to go to the public and ask people questions. There is zero chance that people are going to get worse. Zero, Sweden zero. On this I don't map. even like, like, I, I'm, like, I'm going to be completely <laughs> honest. If you just gave me a map right now, I know it's like Finland, Sweden, Norway. And I would, but I you don't know the, the yeah. Finland, Sweden, Norway is in my head. I don't know if that's right or not. <laughs> that's yeah. That, that'd be very, so have you ever thought about going abroad, like to London or some other, you know, area and saying, doing this in another city? Yeah, I would love to do that. I want to go so badly, but it's just so hard with like the timing. And then I would also have to find like right now, like my cameramen are my friends from school. Like they're just like, oh, are you free today? No, I'm not free. And then I ask somebody else, oh, can you come? And then they just hold my iPhone and just go like this. So it's like and then we like go out and like get burgers after like we just have fun. It's kind of like a hangout kind of thing. So it's like hard for me to be like, yeah, like tell your parents we're going to go to London for like a week or like for whatever, like. I mean, it That'd would be, be sweet. sweet. It's just, it's like hard. And a lot of them, like they're in physical therapy school and like moving on, like, like we're all getting busy. So it's hard to like set aside that time for a trip like that with school going on at the same time, you know, and it not being my number one, like income, my number one priority right now. It's not your number I mean, one income right now? I priority, not income. I was going to say, I'm like, no, geez, no, no, OP, what is. are you doing? That's <laughs> uh, making you so much money. That's awesome. I was going to say that, see, that's, that's, you know, to me, it's like, so I'm 42, so I graduated college exactly 20 years ago. So you were one when, you gradu when I graduated college. And these things weren't possible. But even learning wasn't possible. On I mean, YouTube didn't exist in 2003. I mean, I remember it was 2002 when I started using Google. So I think it's awesome. You know, when people say, I actually get annoyed when adults and people say, kids are on the phone too much. I go, yeah, but there, I mean, I've never seen kids know so much about what's yeah. going on in the world since they got phones. I mean, that's the thing that's interesting to me. Like when I was in high school, I used to be embarrassed to mm -hmm. say I watched the news. So I'd always say, oh, I heard my dad talking about this because I was embarrassed to say I watched yeah, CNN yeah. and heard this. You know what I mean? But now it's like you got Twitter. You got all these things like, you know, whenever you need to know something, you just go to the. And I don't know. That's that's been my take. And I know you haven't lived really in a world that didn't have social media because, you know, you were born in 02 or 03 whenever you were born. It's like at some point, I mean, when you were five, YouTube already existed, yeah. you know what I mean? So it's like, I, I, I don't know. I just, I, I look at it from my perspective of, the other thing is I also like the fact you do this because I don't think I would have believed half the stories you said about people who got things wrong 20 years ago. I'd be like, no way, come on. And Jay Leno used to do a thing where he'd go to college graduations and literally ask people on graduation line, hey, who's the president of the United States? They'd be like, what? And then he'd say, name me all the Flintstones. And they'd rattle them all off like immediately. And then, you know, now you sit there and say like, Hey, if I give you four quarters, I take one away. How many cents do I have? And people are like 18. You're like, no, and it's just like, or yes. Yeah. And it's just, I don't know. I think what you do is awesome. And you're right. It's going to be hard to be doing this till you're 30, obviously asking the same questions, but it's, so there's no, so you sit there and say, medicine's my thing. I, I, I mean, has anybody approached you for some sort of like, has a network ever approached you for anything? Has anybody approached you for some major deal that would, that has made you go like, oh, should I put school on the back burner for just a little bit to try? Cause you are young. You know, I, you know, my, bro, my, my brother's brother-in-law went to med school when he was 28. Uh -huh. He started med school. Have you ever thought about, Hey, maybe I should just see where this can go for the next five years, milk this cow, as you said for a while and then go to med school or you're just like, nope, I'm doing med school first and foremost. I'm not touching anything else. Yeah. I'm, I've never really thought about that, but as of right now, I haven't had what you're talking about. Like these big networks reach out. It's more like small sponsorships, like here and there, like, well, relatively small compared to like a network, some reaching out and stuff like that. But if that were to happen, I don't, I would definitely have to like sit down and think about it. Just like break it down kind of thing like that and try to plan out, like the next 10 years of my life, which would be a little difficult. But yeah, as of right now, I haven't had that reach out. I haven't had anyone reach out like that. I mean, how many followers do you have across all your platforms? It's got to be, you know, in the millions, right? Yeah, I have like 1.3 on TikTok and then on Instagram, like 470. And then on Facebook, another 100. And then YouTube's like 61. So it's like 1.8 probably, like less than 2 million. There's probably a lot of overlap between them, but still the 1.3 on TikTok is absolutely incredible. Now I'm not on TikTok. I yeah. saw you through Instagram. 
um, which is, you know, fine, the same thing. But, you know, do you keep track of your stats? Are you kind of like, hey, whatever it ends up being, it ends up being, or do you keep track of it and looking like, oh, I grew this month, I didn't grow this month. What do, you, do you care at all about that? Uh, yeah, well, to go back to the what you said earlier about, like, do you think there's a lot of overlap? I actually don't think there's a lot of overlap because I post – I post the same videos on all three on all four platforms. So there's oh, no wow, really? of following me on multiple things because I'm posting the same videos. Like if you follow me on Instagram, why would you follow me on TikTok when you're just going to scroll on Instagram, see my video and then scroll on TikTok and see my same video? So that's just the way I think about it. It just doesn't make sense to have follow me on multiple platforms. So I think that they're actually pretty separate like groups of people. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Wow. But uh, like analytics wise, like I don't. I only look at it for fun because I like numbers and I think like they're interesting and to see this and like, oh, I did grow this much or oh, I didn't do this much or whatever, but it's not something that I obsess over. Like in the beginning, my dad told me, he was like, I just want you to like, as soon as you stop having fun doing this and stop doing it, like, like as long as you enjoy it, then keep doing it, but focus like first on wow. school and things like that. And then he said, don't do it for the money. Just do it. Cause like you want to do it, but you know, like that's, that's how I started. And I'm keeping that mentality as of now. Yeah. Real good mindset. Definitely not the middle Eastern mindset. Usually middle Eastern mindset yeah. is, you know, do this, get your <laughs> money, save your money, all this stuff. So, so your dad has a jewelry store. Does your mom work there too? Or she had, she does something else or she's stay at home mom. What does she, what does she do? Yeah. She's a stay at home mom. She just takes care of me and my sister. Yeah. How old is your sister? 17. <laughs> you don't know. No, no, no. Sixteen. So she's of the, so she's of the age where she can really appreciate what you're doing on on social media and really. Uh, does she enjoy it very much, or she kind of goes, you know, every obviously familiarity breeds contempt. Like I always joke with my fiance. I mean, we have two hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube. Yeah. I've only been recognized a couple times outside of it, but I always joke. Uh, when my fiance is there, I'm like, you know, you're dating a celebrity, right? <laughs> like, obviously I'm not, but it, so does your sister like really enjoy it? Or is she kind of like teasing no, and go, oh, she, Justin, stop with this. She hates it so much. When, she when hates people it. people come up and like ask her to take pictures, I always just look at her and she's just rolling her eyes and just like crossing her, heels, <laughs> her arms like this. Like she absolutely hates that people like recognize me all the time. And like, uh, like all of her friends are like, no way, that's your brother. And she's like, yeah, like he's not that cool. Like it's fine, whatever, <laughs> stuff like that. But I think deep down she likes it, but on the outside. So it's funny. So one time I got recognized. So I've been recognized before, but what ends up happening is, so I, I don't know if you've watched, you haven't watched the channel, but I can be a little um, blunt. So I think people see, like Mo has been recognized a ton, but people go up to Mo and say, Mo, I love you all that stuff. And then with me, like I'll get a message from somebody saying, hey, I saw you here or hey, I saw you there. I just didn't want to interrupt you. I'm like, ah, I feel bad. But the one time, Somebody did come up to me. My fiance loved it. She was like, Paul, take a picture. I'm like, he didn't ask for a picture. She's like, you still should have done it. I'm like, no, but he didn't ask for a picture. I'm not going to say, hey, do you want a picture? But I do always pray. So my, uh, my fiance has got three adult kids. And I always sit there and say, please, Lord, let me get recognized so I can say to all of them, hey, can you take a picture with me and my fan? Because I just want to just be that douche yeah. in front of the family <laughs> just to be a douchebag for them. So, uh, yeah. but they, you know, they always go like, because they've known me for so long. It's like, oh my God, here we go, Paul. But uh, listen, I, I think it's funny because your sister probably would be, it's like, oh God, Justin, stop with this. Like, you know, do you ever like, do you ever, I, that to me would be the fun part of teasing your little sister. I have a younger brother. He's eight years younger, but that'd be a lot of fun to tease them about that and say, come on, take a picture with me and my fan and do all that stuff. Yeah. That is great. Good for you. Yeah. So um, do you actively seek sponsorships or is it something that just falls in your lap? People reach out to you. Do you have, how do people reach out yeah. to you for sponsorship? I have my email in my bio for Got it. Instagram and I'm not even sure if I have it in my TikTok. I might have it in my TikTok. I'm not sure, but it's, I don't do any outreach. I don't do anything like, I don't have media packages. I don't have anything like that. It's just Good for you. people email me. And if I, I look up their brand cause I don't want to be like, like kind of a associated, whore. but yeah, Scott, I don't want to be like Shaq, <laughs> like, you know, like taking every response <laughs> left and right. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just, I'm the one that like kind of filters through it and like I respond and then like, give rates and stuff. It was so hard in the beginning. Like, what do you mean my rate? Like, I'm like, I'm 19. Like I just make TikToks for fun. Like if you want me to make one for you, I'll make one for you for fun. Like, I don't know. What is your rate? But, uh, right now on Instagram and TikTok, I'm like $3,000 a video. So it's, and like people seem to be com like fine with that. Some people are like, yeah, that's in the budget. Some people say no, but it is what it is. That's kind of what I'm charging right now. But if you do like multiple videos, then like we can work something out, stuff like that. Like which a lot of people have done. They want, oh, like 
like a five video package or like a six video or like two months of like every other weekend, like stuff like that. But that's all like negotiating stuff. And how often are you posting? Like how often do you post a new video? Cause I just literally will pop my feed and I'll be like, okay, got to watch this. Or Tim or Mo will send me one and say, oh my God, you see this one? Like this, that was the great wall of China one that was sent to me. And I'm like, are <laughs> you serious right now? It was insane. Did you see the queen of England one? Like where's the queen of England from? What country is the queen of England from? Originally. Um, <laughs> I definitely don't know. No, give me, give me your best guess. I guess a country. Mm. What is the country again? <laughs> give me a guess. This is embarrassing. Um, what is a country? What is a country? What is a country? Canada. No, I didn't see that one. <laughs> R.I.P. I what she said it was hilarious. Yeah, rest in peace. It was before she passed too, but whatever. Um, yeah. How so? Um, yeah. How often do I post? Yeah. How often do you post? Yeah. How often do you post? Uh, I try to do like three times a week. Oh, In great. The beginning, I was grinding the content. It was like almost three videos a day, or like two videos a day, like last summer, like because like I like. I almost got like addicted to like seeing the numbers like grow and like getting like the ad revenue and stuff. It was like it was addicting. It was literally addicting. But now it's like. Like I said, like I'm just trying to like maintain it. So I'll post like Monday and then like Thursday and then like Sunday just to like make people know that I'm still like alive and active. And then after I'm done this, I'll start probably posting those still three videos, but maybe adding other videos in as well. Awesome. Well, Justin, thanks for your time. I can't wait. So Tim, what are we doing? We're doing this in November when we go to New York. So we're coming to New York in November for an interview and we're going to do a, uh, a session with you and I'm sure it's going to be money related and that's going to be a lot of fun because uh, awesome. it'll be a little chilly, but it'll be, uh, it'll be a lot of fun and uh, looking forward to it. And thanks for taking the time. I know uh, busy with pre-med. So when do you take the MCAT? Uh, as of right now, I think I'm taking it in January. And that's stressful. I know if I had friends that took the MCAT, uh, you feel pretty confident about it or are you just, uh, are you still working uh, through that? Yeah, there's certain parts of it that I'm confident about and then other parts that I'm a little bit weaker. But the, the part that kind of stinks is that I want to stay here. Like I want to stay in New Jersey, New York area. And it's like the most competitive place to be basically in the whole world from med school practically. So it's like you need to be like the best of the best. So kind of working to be the best of the best. But if not, then if not, we'll see where it goes. You it's know? out of 44 or 46. What is it out of? 528 now. They changed the grading oh. system. Oh, yeah, so it's 472 is the lowest to 528 is the highest, I believe. I wonder why they do that. Okay. So what's your, uh, what, what's the number you need to hit for you to, to get to the schools that you want to hit? I think I'll be pretty good if I get around like a uh, 510 or higher, which is okay. like around 75th, 80th percentile. Awesome. But yeah, we'll see. You know, baby steps. Awesome. Justin, thanks very much for your time. And uh, guys, if you want to have him sponsor you or anything like that, reach out to him. But we're going to be there in November. We'll record some videos and we'll post them. Awesome. Super and exciting. Thank you and for having me. No problem. Everybody follow Justin, the whole thing. And I appreciate that. And uh, this is my most fun interview. This was a lot of fun. It's a great time. You got a great mindset on you. You have a really good mindset, Justin. And I'm not just saying that I'm twice your age and I'm telling you, I had a Thank good you. mindset when I was 21. I didn't have your mindset. So that's awesome. Thank you. So Anything much. else you want to promote? Anything else you want to say? Uh, no, but I, I, there's my, uh, I started like a clothing brand called Yes and & Co and new pieces are going to start coming out in like the next couple weeks, hopefully. And a hundred percent of the profits are going to be donated to wow. like, a local school or local like education thing. I haven't decided yet, but I'm not going to take any of that money. Just the, the, the pieces are like pretty nice. I've designed them. So I, I'm a little biased. So what's, they're awesome. what's the website? What's the Instagram? Can you give us that? Yes. And co.com maybe. Uh, there's a link in my Instagram bio and TikTok got it. Bio, a link to the Instagram. We'll put it to the thing. And good. Yeah, 100% of the things are going to be donated. And yeah, that's, that's basically it. That's awesome. Awesome. So we'll put a link to those things. Justin, thanks again. And I'll see you in November. Thank you so much. Have All right, man. Day. Take care. Bye.